Hello my friends. Good evening. Hi guys. Thank you for joining me. When you pop on, just let me know where you're watching from. Say hi to me. My name is Angela and I am the owner and creative energy from Elf und Helden. I'm a premier retailer for Dixieville over here in Frankfurt in Germany. So welcome, welcome. It is 10 p.m. over here. So just let me know where you're watching from and uh, if it's morning, afternoon, whatever, middle in the night. Um, always nosy. I want to know that. So hi, Nina. Good to see you. Thank you, girl, for joining me. So it is winter in Germany. It is freezing cold out there. We already had the first snow. I mean, it's, you know, Frankfurt area. It's, it's like not up in the mountains, but already we had snow. So um, I'm not happy about it. I'm not a snow person. I'm, I'm, I'm like flip flops and uh, sunshine. That's me. So guys, last week um, we prepared this um, bathroom cabinet. Gotta put that copy to the side. I've already done two lives today, so um, my mouse is already a little blah, blah, blah. So, guys, just let me know where you're watching from. Say hi to me. If you have any questions, put it in the comments. Hallo, Sabine. <laughs> yeah, immer noch fleißig. Dritte live heute. <laughs> Reicht's aber auch. Um, okay, guys, today we are working with the silk uh, uh, mineral paints by Dixieville which is a new um, range of paints they are carrying. They are already available in Australia, New Zealand, in Europe and the US, you're going to have them soon. You know, that's one thing you having last, I'm sorry about that, but you're going to have them soon until then you are really prepared to, to get to use them. Um, the uh, Silk All-in-One uh, mineral, mineral Paint Rewind um, the special about them is they have um, a built-in sealer, they have a built-in stain blocker, um, they are UV uh, resistant, they are um, mold resistant, or basically, I don't know how to say that properly in English. After, girl, guys, after all, I'm German, so some of the words, you know, I'm just missing, so don't be too hard on me. Um, they are water resistant, so this is a total new range of paints. You work with them different than with the uh, chalk mineral paints. They don't blend like they do, but you can blend them. So I'm going to show you how I do it and uh, what effect um, I want to achieve. It's not like the usual um, perfect ombre effect uh, we are used to, but uh, it's going to be quite, quite fun working with them. Okay, the colors I've chosen, the color range from the silk mineral paints is a little more Heimenhase, is a little more um, muted, so it's not like the bright colors, it's quite a few blues in there, there's so quite a few whites in there, um, there's uh, some, um, it's an olive in there, it's, uh, it's um, a dusty pink in there, so it's uh, beautiful colors, you know, it's not, uh, and for me, you know, I like to work with like, with like, bam colors, uh, it's not that, but uh, I like the blues, so I'm working with the blues. So I've got with me tonight, I have um, a dark blue, which is called Deep Sea by the um, Silk All-in-One Mineral Paints. I have the Cape Current, which is like a, a middle blue. And I have the, the harbor, which is like a lighter blue. And um, I'm going to work with all of them. And I want to go from the bottom to the top and I want to move them a little into each other. As per usual, the first coat is, um, is uh, well, it's the first coat. It's not going to be perfect. It's basically I'm laying the paints out and I'm going to see if I like it, if I don't like it. So again, guys, when you join me, just let me know where you're watching from and I highly appreciate some hearts and the like. And uh, if you move over to my side and leave me a, a like there, that'll be absolutely fantastic also. Um, just like the uh, chalk mineral paints, obviously, they are VOC free. So they've got no smell to them. And um, as the chalk mineral paints, you're supposed to mix them up before you use them. That's 
what I'm going to do. I'm trying to be a little careful so I'm not making straight away a complete mess like I'm usually doing. And the consistency, they are a little more liquidy than the um, chalk mineral paints. But the coverage is just about the same. And the nice thing about them is also that they have like a cure time of about 21 days. They dry pretty quickly in between coats. And, and the cure time is shorter than with the chalk mineral paints. They need, hi Michelle, glad you're there. The chalk mineral paints, they have about 30 days curing time and the silk all in ones mineral paints, they have about 21 days. So it's about three weeks, opposite to four weeks. So I'm just gonna show you, this is like the the consistency is a little more runny. I'm gonna go more over to the white so you can see it. It's a little more runny than the the chalk mineral paints. So okay, that's the first one we're using. I'm going to open it up first and uh, mixing them. So then we're gonna go along. If you want to know anything about those paints, just ask. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. <laughs> hi, John boy. <laughs> Guys, you're so sweet. I just love you. Okay, then uh, Cape Current, which is a nice, nice, like brighter blue. We've already used that in the bathroom. So this is uh, going to be in my bathroom. And uh, anybody on here who's already used those? Hi, Mansoor. Hi, Becky. <laughs> so don't be shy. Throw me some hearts. Say hi to me. I'm not biting. I promise. <laughs> so where is it at your area? We are back into, well, it's like a light lockdown. The shops are open, but as I am lo located a little more outside area next to a golf course, and there's like a few restaurants uh, around there. So obviously all the restaurants are closed. Um, and the golf course because of the weather is closed. Also, it's, um, pretty lonely out there and the secretary's office in the house is only like people there till five o'clock something like that as the the light it's still light out there so I've decided that I'm not um, keeping the shop open longer than anybody hello she hi April guys you're so sweet I'm happy you're there <laughs> So, Ushi, um, Anana, how good is your English? Do you understand English? So this is now Harbor, which is like the lightest color from the Silk All-in-One Mineral Paints. Um, Ushi, the Silk All-in-One Mineral Paints is a new line from Dixieville. Um, this is a paint which already got like a stain blocker in it and it's already got like a top coat in it and it's a uv resistant so it's a great paint for the outside also they don't have that many colors um, and the color range is a little more um, muted so it's they're not that bright so the paint those paints are a little more runny so this jar is still pretty full but the coverage is just as great as the as the other paints, as the chalk mineral paints. So, but as I said, this is the reason I'm not um, in the shop that long because it's too too dangerous. I'm basically all on my own, like uh, in the middle of nowhere. And um, Highlander, great, that's great, fantastic. So. Guys, this is like a lot of Germans, they speak really well English, but there's still there are some which don't um, 
So that's the reason I'm doing some lives in German uh, also. So tonight I've already done two lives in German. Okay, they are mixed up nicely. Um, the difference to the chalk mineral paints is that you work with them dry. You don't use the mister bottle because you don't want to compromise the um, compromise the the benefits of the paint. Yes, they're coming to the US very, very soon. It's not long to go. So I'm using, as I said, a dry brush to apply them. You can, you can layer them with the chalk mineral paints because all the paints are water based. But you shouldn't mix them, you know. I wouldn't use now whatever a blue from the silk all in one mineral paints and a blue from the chalk mineral paints. I wouldn't do that. But you can, whatever, lay down the sock, the silk on it. Oh, I've got my bore. My tongue is stuck. It's like already two lives. Um, you you uh, can layer them. You can put like a base of the silk on in one mineral paints and you can, whatever, do some stenciling with the chalk mineral paints or the other way around. That works, you know. So um, I have... I have the <laughs> I'm running out of brushes. I have the uh, from Pixie Bell the uh, mini angle, which just works uh, as fine as the other brushes. It's also got like the shorter handle, so I like those brushes because for me they lay they lay nicer in my in my hand. As I said, you work with a dry brush, and you just use as little paint as you would do with the with the chalk mineral paints. Just dip it in there. And I always wipe it a little on the lid, just a little bit on there. You can always reload, you know. And then I'm going to start at the bottom here. This piece is prepared with um, slick stick. We've done that last week, as this is uh, one of those um, laminated pieces. It's like those, like, you know, IKEA furniture. It's like laminated. So, um, I've used Slick Stick, and Slick Stick is a bonding primer by Dixiebel. So, all water based. So, that's the reason we can paint on there now. And you can see it's like it's white under there, and this is the first coat we're just putting on. So, this is basically high <laughs> soul. So, this is uh, the coverage is uh, just, uh, just as good. So, and we're going to move them a little into each other. Um, the reason you can't blend them with the, like the um, chalk mineral paints is because you, they are not reactivated by the water like the chalk mineral paints. So that's the reason they are different. Um, but the great benefits are that they are water resistant. They are fantastic paints for the outside. And they are mold resistant, so this is a great paint. And they are also um, self leveling, just like the chalk mineral paints. You know? So that was the deep sea. Now I'm going to come to the um, Cape Current. I'm going to use the mini brush, the normal mini brush now. Again, dry brush. I still have to sink, you know, because usually um, everybody who follows me knows I like to work with a, with a slight damp brush. But even so, we work with a light brush. So the first coat, I'm just laying the paints down. Can mix already a little into each other. That is no problem. Again, you know, always just like hardly any paint on the brush because you don't need much paint with those also and those blues are beautiful gorgeous absolutely gorgeous long strokes back and forth to lay the paint down kind of right up to the edge again you know this is bright white under there and this is the first coat up there Sorry, I'm repeating myself, but I'm always totally amazed myself. So, 
Um, I use the primer because the primer in the Silk All-in-One is more uh, like a stain blocker. It's not, it's not like a, a bonding primer, you know. And as this is like uh, laminated furniture, uh, which is like plastic laminated, um, this is um, just to make sure it's sticking, you know. If you work on really slick surfaces, I would always uh, use um, use some some slick stick. I've tried it out before. I've painted a table like one of those IKEA tables um, with it, and it is all right, but it's not a hundred hundred percent perfect. You know, it's it's a stain and um, a smell blocker like like boss in there, but. Um, it's not really like a bonding primer. So, and the last color we're using is Harbor. It's a light blue. And uh, now I'm having my old medium, which I use very rarely <laughs> because I prefer the brushes with the, the short handles. But as all my brushes are wet now, I'm, well, I have to use those. Again, just like a little paint on there. You can always reload. You can see how much paint those uh, brushes also hold. You know, this was just like um, come up right to the top. So there. So let's see if we can move it a little into each other. I'm going to go a little down into the into the uh, let's say Cape Current, and it's not as I said, it's not blending like the um, like the chalk mineral paints, but I want to get like a different um, effect on here, which uh, is. It's going to be perfect for us. I'm going to go a little further down. It's picking up the, the paint or the, the other color, which is not too bad. So, same thing here. I'm going to come a little up. I want to have it like some, just look basically like some water moving into each other. So therefore it is perfect. What I'm trying to achieve, you can see it's like a little bit of a cloudy effect. And this is basically also almost like I've done it on that little bin, Michelle. So if you are, if you can remember. It is, isn't it, Sue? Absolutely gorgeous. I love those colors. So again, I'm gonna go a little further down now. And again, this is still my first coat, so this is not about um, still going to change a little, but this is um, going to make up my mind if I like those colors together. And um, if I'm going to stick with it that way. So I'm just going to go a little into the deep sea down there. And um, I'm going to come up then down. The deep sea a little further up also into so this is basically what I am going for and um, I've seen others I mean obviously you can use um, a spray bottle with it you won't reactivate the the paints like you can do with the chalk mineral paints and um, you obviously will compromise the uh, the benefits a little of those paints. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm sorry, I'm gonna put you a little over so you can see a little better. Um, but uh, if you're not worried about the, you know, all the benefits they give you, um, you, you know, you're free to to use some um, some water with it, you know, to keep like the the opening time, you know, to, till the, the paint really dries a little longer. So I think this is a quite cute effect. I quite like that. This is the first coat, guys. I mean, it was bright white under there and it's basically, 
it's covered. So um, those paints that dry just quick is, um, hi Vivi. Ah, merci beaucoup. Oh, Aix-en-Provence. Oh, that's so beautiful down there. I was there when I was a young girl. This is such a beautiful area. I'm jealous. <laughs> so, oh, this is ages ago. <laughs> it brings back mem memories. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. You don't want to know. <laughs> you don't know. I'm an old cow now. <laughs> so, they, those paints, they dry really quick. So, um, when, you, when you paint, just let it dry. You know, about an hour, something like that. And, and it's dry, you can put on the second coat. Um, as I want to do the second coat together with you, I'm just going to use the, the heat gun now to um, dry it and uh, get this, this side finished tonight. Uh, what's time? Yeah, we still have loads of time. I mean, it is, it is already, you know, dry, dry to the touch. It works really, really quick. I've taken the doors off from the front because I wanted to get to all the areas and I want to paint the inside nicely. This, this piece is so worn out. Um, I really like this here. I really like that. You get like a different effect with those paints, you know. That's um, a whole new game. A whole new game, guys. And as this is going into the bathroom, this is just perfect. Yeah. Uh, it up too much on the side there. Again, those paints are water-based. So if you mess it up somewhere, you can always uh, get a baby wipe and um, and take it off. I'm just going to do that on the side because I don't want to build up too much paint here. Um, this is going to be painted then from the front and go from there. So, what do you think? You think you're going to like it? If you have any further questions, just put it in the comments. So I think I'm going to check for, for more comments um, later. Oh, any angles you have to brush, Michelle? Okay. Yeah, I have some customers who prefer the, the angle towards the, um, the normal mini brush. Um, so second coat. No reactivating with the with water. This is what we would uh, usually do when we um, move the paints into each other with the with the mineral paint, chalk paints, chalk mineral paints. We're over. So, and they dry. Well, they have a little bit of a satin finish. Um, the the um, chalk mineral paints they have like a flat finish complete flat finish they are in between flat and satin finish so that's what they are this is now the deep sea i'm using now i'm going to come in with the Cape Current, which is the middle blue. And I'm not worried if the it picks up some of the, the deep sea because I want to move those a little into each other anyway. Which I'm going to do straight away now as I know that this um, gives me right the effect I want to have. A little down here and as I said if you're not uh, worried about compromising the um, 
the benefits. You could use some water, but still they not um, they are not uh, moving into each other like the like the chalk and roll pens. But even so, it's a beautiful effect you can get. That's what I'm doing here now. I think is quite nice. Getting some stripes in there, some moving. That's basically what I'm going for. A little over it to smooth it out a little. So you can see that you can still get um, some nice. Um, effects with it. So this is now two coats and bam, you know, you're finished. From white to complete blue. Just curl that up and then I'm going to come down with the harbor into it. Uh, okay. <laughs> It's just the shop cat just came in. She's like home with me at the moment, as you know. It is winter and she's not going to stay outside. But she still has to learn some rules. I had to get some slick stick off her paws the other day because um, she was uh, insisting in sleeping in um, one of my projects, which were just painted in slick stick. So I was not happy and she was not happy getting clean with water. Um, yes, exactly, Oshi. Yeah, that's what it's for. I probably would give it um, just to make you know, completely sure another coat of the gator hide if it really would sit in the rain a lot. But this is definitely a paint which is good for the outside, you know, because it is also UV re uh, resistant and it's not bleaching out. And it's mold resistant, so it, it you know, it's got all those, those benefits. And it's a total new paint by Dixie so just get it down. It's just not blending like the other paints because you're not supposed to use some water with it. But this is still getting like some cute, cute, um, some cute effect. What I quite like. Just gonna come in a little more with the. And also here, um, it doesn't matter if I do like a real blending or like here moving the paints a little into each other. Um, I'm not touching the surface hard, you know, this is uh, just very lightly uh, touching the surface. So I can see you're just getting, getting up into this um, cupboard again in a second, but it's dry on the inside, so that's no problem. She really likes that one. So let's see what it looks on screen. Yeah. Just a little smoother on here. And I think this is then exactly the look I am going for. So, yep. Wait, must be good there. She's here. Is here. Hang on, guys. I'm going to show you. There she is. And this is my shop monster. She's huge. She's absolutely huge. But she's beautiful. Hmm? Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Okay, then I'm on screen, back to work. Well, she doesn't mind to move around, so. 
Okay. What do you think? I made a complete mess on the floor. I'm going to clean it up in a second, but it's no problem. As also, this paint is water based. You can do that. Um, also, you can see when I put that on here now, it's a lot lighter than um, the areas which have already dried a little bit. This is different to the chalk mineral paints also. The chalk mineral paints, um, they dry almost the same color they are in the jar. The um, silk all-in-one mineral paints, they dry a little darker than you apply them, you know, so they get a little darker when they dry. So that you can lay them, layer them. And Michelle, you're probably seeing that um, what we've done on the, on that little bin we've done on the Woody Van page the other day. So it's already had that prepared when we applied the woody bands. So I want to have it that bright up there. I want to have it a little darker. So you can play with those paints also. You know, this is um, giving it a nice effect. I think this is quite a little more, just a tiny, 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 teeny, weeny, tiny, teeny, weeny. light strokes are be touching because I don't want to have too much paint on here. So just give it a little bit of um, just a little more. Maybe if I take it on there. Okay. So now we've got there. So you can do that as I said, you know, until you have reached the state you are going for. So didn't want to have it too bright up there. And that's the way I quite like it. So guys, the inside is going to be painted in, well, not at the moment, the cat is in there. <laughs> so I thought I'm going to paint the inside. I first have to clean it, get the fur out. So. Okay, guys. Hi, Grete. Hi there. Like stormy weather. That's right, Ushi. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yes, Michelle. She always has to be obviously Linda. She is really big. I mean, you know, my, my cat is, um, I have a cat here at home and she's like half the size. So she is still scared from her. So whenever she's like just turning around, she stands behind her. She's like, oh, panic. <laughs> I can understand. She's really, she's really twice, twice the size, but very gentle. Okay, my friends, I think um, this is enough for tonight. Um, 35 minutes. Uh, it's good to go. I'm going to let it dry. And um, I'm not quite sure. I was like almost thinking about doing a seahorse over the side to the front, but I'm not quite sure yet. What I'm going to show you, um, because we've done the, um, we've painted the front and the front. Do you hear that? This was glass. So this, this was, uh, I mean, that's another. Now I've used the, um, I've used the slick stick beforehand because glass is, is completely slippery. You know, nothing is going to hold on there without a bonding primer. So this is like two coats of slick stick. You're not getting it off, you know, you're not getting it and it's dried, you know, nicely now. So, um, this, this is great stuff, you know, and there's no mess and, you know, no, hardly any smell. I'm really impressed with that stuff. Okay. So do you have any further questions, my friends? Just now grab my coffee. Where is it? There. Do you have any further questions? Anything else I can do for you? Questions to the paints? 
I'm just going to check if I missed anything. <laughs> A blue tail. <laughs> yeah, well, the tail was covered in sticks also. <laughs> Yes, she did. It wasn't exactly a help. <laughs> help me paint. So, it is uh, 22 11 p.m. over here now. Ach, Becky, das ist auch kein Problem. Ich bin ganz glücklich, dass du da bist. Das muss gar nicht auf Englisch sein. Ich freue mich, dass du da bist. <laughs> Und jeder Kommentar hilft, egal welcher Sprache. Vielen Dank. <laughs> So this was just to Instagram. It was like somebody was like watching, but um, apologized that I don't write in English. But um, I guess uh, when it comes down to painting and art and stuff like that, we all speak the same language, don't we? So guys, thank you so much with me tonight. Again, my name is Angela. I'm the owner of Creative Energy from Elf und Hell. I'm the primary retailer over here in Frankfurt in Germany. And uh, well, tonight we've um, I showed you how you can still move those uh, new paints, the silk all-in-one mineral paints, into each other. Even you not supposed to use any water, or something like that, with it. So I hope this is like giving you some ideas. And if it did, just leave me a like here and pop over to my page. Leave me a like there. That would be absolutely great. Guys, I'm wishing you um, a great weekend. I see you hopefully next week. You stay safe. Um, have a nice, I don't know what's it called in English, Zweite Advent. It's like the, the second, um, um, well, it's like the four weeks before Christmas, the Sundays. What are, Do you have a name for those in, in English? I'm not quite sure. So um, if there is, somebody tells me. In German, it's called Advent. So, guys, thank you for being with me. You take care. Bye-bye for now. Cheers.